Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and the Packers lost the playoffs, so there's really no reason to go on living. I wish that a comet would just smash into Earth and end humanity once and for all. But the one thing that does make me feel a little bit better is that Wizards of the Coast is trying to sell me some f***ing rats. Hooray! So uh, as they said early in 2020, although geez, 16 days into it, uh, they're bringing out another Secret Lair product because I guess they claim the first one did well. I mean, they'd kind of say that regardless. So here we go again, although I suspect that these were already pretty much completed, just not printed yet. So as they put it, get ready to ring in the Year of the Rat, which is on the uh, Chinese Zodiac calendar. Known for being quick-witted and resourceful, the clever rat is the first of the Zodiac cycle. Okay, if you think that the year you were born or the stars or any of that bullshit has anything to do with your daily or long-term life, you are an idiot. So they're celebrating the 2020 Lunar New Year with eight reveling rodents. And uh, they feature art by... I don't know how to pronounce any of those, but it sounds like some Chinese folks. These adorable vermin will infest your deck. Kind of getting some mixed messages there. Uh, your collection and your heart. That's just sweet. I mean, disturbing. They know rats spread disease and wipe out human food supplies and kill people, right? Like, they're, they're like the reason we keep cats. Well, not, not in like 2020, but a, a long time ago. So the Secret Lair Drop series is kicking off 2020 strong by bringing back some of the best and most beloved rats in all of Magic's history to honor the Year of the Rat. In addition to gorgeous brand new art, these powerful critters all swarm the board and ensure victory. Uh, just like previous Secret Lair Drops, Year of the Rat will be available for 24 hours only and will be available at secretlair.wizards.com. The sale starts at 9am. Yeah, we all know this. I mean, duh. So, I mean, the MSRP of this, which, I mean, actually, it's not really MS. It's not even really R. It's, it's just P. The P of this product is $39.99 US dollars plus shipping, potentially if you have to pay it, plus VAT or sales tax or import tax or tariff taxes or whatever if you live in one of those hell holes. I love how the people from those same countries are like, we have free medical care. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, the doctors are literally not getting paid. They're volunteering. No, it's coming out of your taxes, dumbass. You're all still paying for it. You're just indirectly paying for it. It's almost like you all pay into a giant pool and then that pays out. It's like medical insurance. It's literally the exact same thing, but with all of the corruption and price fixing. And publicly held for-profit companies. Des 2020, I'll make it illegal to be a pharmaceutical company or an insurance company that deals in medical that is for-profit. So it's limit 10 per customer, as is the norm. And what you get is one foil alternate art Maronar. I don't know how to pronounce that form of the word. Not now, now, or now, or now, I don't know. The one who gnaws on things. I'll admit that's cute as hell. The next one is a foil alternate art. Okay. Let me just summarize. They're all foil alternate art. Okay. Can we get past that? Cool. So, uh, pack rat, we got pack rat, um, you know, kind of neat looking, I guess kind of looks more like a weasel, but okay. Then we've got the most Chinese attempted anime ever. Ink eyes, servant of Oni. Is it odd that I've never heard of any of the three of these? Never seen them in play ever. But the next one, oh, here we go. It's Rat Colony, and you get five of them per pack. Now, why you don't get 50 of them per pack, I don't know. So, I mean, you guys know what that does. This is the uh, Dominaria version of this card, not the really similar older one. Okay, so Rat Colony is about a buck a piece. You get five of them. Cool. Let's round up because it's a little bit above a buck. Call it six bucks. Ink Eyes is 15 bucks, but only because it was from Betrayers of Kamigawa, which is not printed very heavily. Once the supply drops, it's probably five bucks. Now, Pack Rat is an RTR card, and they really printed RTR, so that's five whole dollars. But uh, the Big Bomb card is Marrow, however you pronounce that, uh, 33 bucks, but it is a rare from Champions of Kamigawa, a set that did not sell very well and was not printed in very big numbers. Now, it does give all rats fear, so, I mean, definite commander here. Um, and then if you tap it and sack a rat, put X11 black rat creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is the number of rats you control, making your rats just impossible to point and remove. But this is a five mana cost commander. Not the best I've ever seen, unless you're just, like, absolutely dead set on rat tribal. So for how unbelievably narrow and specific the demand is for this, um, it just can't stay at $33. So on the surface, it looks like this little mini masters product. Cause that's what these really should have been called as mini masters, but they didn't want to be too on the head with it. And also they're not random and not packs. So maybe they aren't masters, but it's a reprint set. 
it does on the surface look pretty good value wise, but I have severe doubts about the ongoing price of these cards, like even a month after release. Oh, and by the way, if you buy this, you also get one code for a card sleeve based on the secret lair drop year of the rat to use on arena. But, uh, the code redemption is not available in China, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and Vietnam for some reason. Also, it's English only, so um, deal with it. Kind of funny that they're uh, pandering to Chinese people who, on the whole, very arrogantly believe, because the government told them to think this, and they're all brainwashed, uh, that the Chinese language is superior to all others, and they absolutely hate the English language, and are encouraged not to learn it, unless they uh, absolutely have to, for business reasons. And if you think, oh, that sounds a little harsh and makes them seem racist, um, have you seen what Chinese people have to say about black people? Like, literally to their face. They are literally the most racist people on the planet. I am not kidding. In fact, ask anyone. They will come up to a fat person and say to their face, oh my God, you are fat. Just because they feel the need to point that out. So kind of funny that they're not just doing a, a second print run in Chinese, if that's who they're pandering to, because that's what they did with the two uh, pre-made decks with uh, Jiang Yang and uh, Mu Yanling, which is still pissing people off in standard play. You know, with, with the world's opinion of Chinese culture right now, as more and more things are kind of coming out as people get on the internet and also deal with Chinese people in multiplayer games, let's just say a focus on Chinese culture is maybe not a great idea for a global launch right now, especially with what's going on with Blizzard. Anything that looks like it's pandering to Chinese culture or the Chinese country is not going to be well, well received right now. It's not what they should be doing. But if you could just, like, set all that aside and just be like, I like Rat Tribal, play Magic, yay. Um, hey, this might be the product for you, you never know. So not much more to say about this other than uh, a ton, a ton of the products last time came with cards missing. They came with, like, product missing. The wrong stuff doubles, which, okay, cool. I mean, I guess if you want to play that lottery. Damage cards, damage boxes, misprints, scratched cards, miscuts. And, you know, good luck convincing support that you, uh, opened your product up and it's missing a, a card and, and like, you can't really prove that. I mean, I think they know how shit their products have been lately for the last secret lair drop that if you just say it was missing one, they'll probably just go with it unless the numbers get insane. And they will allegedly send you a replacement, which I, I have heard stories once again of people getting two bad ones in a row. I mean, that's like Xbox red ring of death levels of bullshit right there. So if you want to gamble on this stupid overpriced, uh, you know, greedy money grab of a product, uh, go for it. Otherwise, I mean, just continue to do what I do and just be like, whatever, it's a dumb thing and I'm not going to participate in this. I'm not going to support, you know, this, this ridiculous wizards directly selling us, you know, product bypassing the local gaming store and also directly selling us singles, two things which should never happen ever. Then, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not touching this. I didn't buy the last one. I won't buy this one. And, uh, the last one was an absolute disaster i mean i think i made seven videos on what all went wrong about secret lair last time so i don't think they have it all cleaned up by now so because of the defect rate the just the idea that this product exists at all uh, the way they ship it and how and what countries and just and everything about it i would just say stay away from it you just really shouldn't support this at all in any way so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video